curious if anyone here knows, did Naman Ford do um, a piece at the Biennale this year? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not that I saw him listed, but there was a large, a, an installation um, in the Hungarian pavilion that had the car crash, and then an Afro-American male singer, and I, it looks a remarkable amount like him, and his sound, the timbre is also similar, the voice, and it kind of, it seems like the, the, um, the kinds of things that he was doing in that installation are, are I think similar in this to to the one that, that that's here in that he he basically was making up a recitative about the car crash so he was he was um he was bringing um material that's not normally formatted for this kind of elitist medium um in in a very kind of operatic way but nobody nobody has been <laughs> sorry <laughs> Who would like to? Um, I think the artist, like, he's really doing something that is with culturally or what we perceive as death and destruction. Because we, like, when he was singing, when the, the destruction came out, he's singing the some like hip hop kind of song or he's reading people magazines or I don't know what else stars. Um, we think that's shallow and distraction, but who knows, we, do, we didn't hear the songs, what he's singing, maybe he's singing some lyrics that's very like, like meaningful yeah. or um, um, he's having an in-depth conversation with friends about what's in those magazines and they just happen to be laughing and he filmed that. Um, because what I was thinking is this artist from South Africa, he is a rap artist, but he teaches kids in Brooklyn how to write um, music or write lyrics that um, target social issues. So we don't know what he's singing. We think that's destruction. And what we think opera singers are more that in death and or if we read, National Geographic, then we must be knowledgeable about something. So that's just my comment. Yes, I'd like to say I completely agree. And as an opera singer, I can attest to the fact that when you're singing something like that, your mind is often not in a state of deep concentration. <laughs> you're often wondering, what is the next word? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Well, I, I thought it became uh, overly predictable because anything to do with depth mapped to high culture, anything to do with uh, otherwise was to low culture. And I got halfway through it start, and started thinking, well, maybe he's being ironic. Maybe he's, maybe he's testing us. Maybe that's not really what he's saying. Uh, maybe distraction is not low culture and... Uh, depth is, is high culture, but that's that's the way it reads. Just I, I think in a, a quick viewing like this. But I don't know. I, I I think he should have given us something else. If 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 it really is to be read ironically, then we needed something to push us out of that. And I didn't I didn't get that. Did anyone else see something that <laughs> allowed that reading? I think that the very predictability of that, for me anyway, from my perspective, brought up those contradictions, like uh, that he was challenging that label because it was so continually presented like that. But you're right. I mean, it could have been clearer maybe. Um, it reminds me, has anyone seen those ads in the airplane runways, the HMC ones that have like, for example, two contrasting qualities like pleasure and pain. And then they have, I don't know, like a stiletto and 
I have no idea what else, like uh, <laughs> some kind of chocolate or something. And then, and then they reverse the labeling. So that it, so it, it seemed like that simple. Um, and, and actually as an ad, it's very effective. Uh, I, it's true that by the end I was kind of getting a little bored. Yeah. I think the video raises the issue um, because it, it contrasts high culture and low culture. It does raise the issue of, um, of what, what actually is, is, um, is um, full of meaning because I think there's a controversy out now about whether like, um, the new, new media is actually bad or good for you. And, and there's a book out, I think it's called Everything um, Bad for You is Good for You. Um, and um, it talks about how actually, you know, that the way kids um, surf the internet, play their iPods, and and um, play video games. That that actually that stuff is very what they do is very com complex, and their their the the use of their analytical and motor skills and and um, you know making connections is really is really being challenged with media. Um, so it's not necessarily, you know. Lowbrow is not necessarily a bad thing, you know. It, it it has it has a lot of depth, you know, in our contemporary culture. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. One uh, aspect of it that I noticed was, uh, for me at least, I was anticipating the entire time when he would sing knowing that at some point he probably would and waiting for that to happen and how I related to it because I, I thought, uh, oh, maybe he won't sing. Maybe it, uh, it, it's a different type of piece. But then he does at one point, and when he does, uh, the clip variation, it, there's no real noticeable definitive way of this is this long, this one's this long. But then for the singing ones, they're quite... He, he juxtaposes them time-wise, duration-wise, against the distraction one previous to it, it by a noticeable amount always. And I thought it was an interesting thing because I was waiting for that to happen and then once it did happen, you notice it. And I thought in terms of distraction depth, what that means when uh, for a piece that's this length, to be waiting for something for a period of time for something to happen when it does occur, how you respond to it. That was just a insight I had. Um, I think another thing about this video, since I knew that he was an opera singer, um, I noticed sound much more than I would have, and I think it's really interesting that the only sound he used in the video was his own voice, either him laughing or singing, and in parts where you might have expected there to be sound, like when he's dancing to the hip hop music or whatever, there's no, there's no music there. Um, so I just thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs> 